Hello YouTube, what is going on? Captain Nick88 here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create text, lights, and shine. Now, in this tutorial series, there will be about six videos on how to create Panzoid intros or uh, simple things to do in Panzoid that will, if you follow all six tutorials, will help you make your intros. This specific tutorial will focus on text, lights, and shine, so let's get straight into the video. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into Panzoid Clipmaker 2. It is a website, so you could go just search it up on Google. And once you've gone to the website, you can just start, you just click Clipmaker 2 and you can start making your intro. Now, basically, I'm just going to click F11 just so I can get rid of those ugly borders. We're going to go down here to the Objects tab and we're going to select it. Now that we've selected it, we're going to click add an object. One of the main objects that we're going to add is a light and we're going to go to the Z value. We're going to select it and then go to the Z value and set that to 100. Now I plan on doing quick tutorials. So if you guys are confused, please go back and just follow closely with what I do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some text and I'm going to select text as clip maker and we're going to change the name to name. Once we have done that, we're going to have the text and it's going to have a font. You can select from many fonts or you can select a custom font down here. When uh, you select a custom font, it will prompt you with a custom font select and you just select your font file. But we're going to leave it as Bebis for now. So now let's start going down the settings and uh, changing the values. Basically, height will just make it bigger or smaller like that. It's not really important, but I believe that was set to 20, so we're going to leave it as that. The thickness, we're going to make 10 just because it makes it a little bit thicker, and it looks nicer when you're making an intro. The detail, we're going to set to 100. Basically, the higher the detail, the more round curves will be on the text. So if you have a curvy font, definitely set your detail to 100. I recommend it either way if you do or if you don't have um, curvy fonts. You're going to have a bevel size. Now recommended you can have that off completely if you're just planning on having text like this. There are other ways of creating text and those are pretty self-explanatory but basically what bevel does is it makes the thickness either bigger or it makes the, the, the extrusion bigger. But we're just going to disable that as we are only going to have this as our text. If you go down here to the preview mode, you're going to notice that you can, it's very hard to see the 3D in it. And it looks very, very ugly. To fix this, we're going to go to the appearance settings. And we're going to select single color, custom. Once we have done this, we're going to go to roughness and we're going to set that to zero and we're going to set metalness to one. Now we're going to scroll down and we're going to select texture. This will give it its nice little texture and look that we all know and love. Most intros have textures. If they do not, then most of the time they're plain or they're 2D or something like that. So you can find these images on Google. Just search up stone, scratched stone, metal, whichever one you would like. I'm going to select M8CXOI. I found this on Google, and I'm going to uh, enable that. If I go out of rent preview mode, you're going to notice that the text is still very dark, just as in preview mode. When we add our reflection, this will fix that issue. Next, we're going to go to normal scale and we're going to just disable that. Go to reflection and enable that. <clears throat> Next, you're going to go to add object and you're going to select shape, sphere, select this sphere, and set all the top three settings to 100. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the appearance setting, click image, select image and go to an image that you have downloaded that has black and white stripes. I'm going to use this image for this tutorial. Once you have done this, go to the render side down at the bottom of the settings, select front, 
and change it to back. Go back to the Add Object tab, select Group, select Group again, change the name of the group to whatever you would like. Most likely you're going to want to change it to Reflection because it's a reflection and that would make the most sense. Drag Sphere into the reflection and you could close the reflection tab. Make sure you have selected the reflection tab and that its settings have appeared. Go to the visibility and select normal reflections only. You have just created text that has reflections. If you would like to change the way the text looks to make it brighter, go down here and you could change the metalness or you can make the roughness a little bit bigger by setting it to 0.3. Most likely you're going to want to change the roughness to about uh, the metalness to 0.8 leaving you with still having a cool reflection just not as much as you would probably like. When making intros make sure you follow these steps to creating text, lights, and reflection and if you guys want to, you can always change the way things are made and do things your own way or find styles from other people. This is just a simple tutorial on how to create lights, names, and reflections very in a simple, very simple, fast way. If this helped you, make sure you guys tell me down in the comment section, like the video, and until next time, peace and bye-bye.